Hello and welcome to another episode of Our Own Devices. Uh, this time we are going to have a very interesting chat with an Indian company that has been making great inroads in the space of health technology. Uh, so we have with us Tushar Vashish, who is co-founder and CEO of Healthify B. Tushar, uh, welcome to the show. Pleasure to be here, Nand Kapal. So Tushar, um, you know I'm I'm looking back a few years and I remember Healthify B primarily because I reviewed a band you guys had launched way back. right and i'm sure the company and your technologies have changed quite a bit so so for our listeners who are not really you know queued uh, queued in on on what all healthify me does can you can you just tell us what all you guys are doing now well you know we are uh, on a mission to help the 5 billion people and the way we do it is a uh, vr app um you know some connected devices and of course our coaches um and our ai system our app simply allows people to track their lifestyle it's a great lifestyle copilot you know it allows you to give your data and make sense of it around nutrition you can track your calories steps uh, you know fitness sleep heart rate etc it syncs in data from all of other connected devices as well mm-hmm. certain devices we feel people don't have enough of so we we help people purchase you know continuous glucose monitors uh, connected wink scales smart scales etc uh, blood yeah. work if need be and we have you know a team of about 1000 or nutritionists and trainers um you know which you can get as a paying subscription where they look at your data and and then guide you towards healthier and fitter goals um of course you probably have played with ria yourself nand gopal which is our ai coach um and you know it it, it was sort of chat gpt for health and fitness before chat gpt came along um okay. and now it's evolving into into something quite spectacular with generative ai um so so using all of these you know we help people effectively drive behavior change form better habits and improve their metabolic health all of which uh, you know results in in weight loss in fat loss in disease reversal etc so you use the word copilot and copilot usually means there is some ai uh, working here so so how does copilot work in your scenario so obviously you are you know pulling in data from all sorts of devices it could be an apple watch it could be a connected weighing scale it could be a glucometer uh, so does it give real time recommendations based on the data that is coming in does it that's take exactly time right. to learn you know how does it work yeah that's precisely right right i mean we that's always that's what we always wanted to do is to give people active choices right yes. so given all of that data what should i do mm-hmm. now or what yeah. should i do today or this week or this month now you know that advice that active choice was uh, until now being carried out by either your coach for whom we would process mm-hmm. a lot of that data or via yeah. ria which is an ai coach that would process that yeah. data and provide you good insights um and now with generative ai coming in you know soon in about a couple of months time um you know with with sort of uh, with ria 2.0 we'll be able to yeah expose that in even more powerful and immediately actionable out items right but we try to make sense of if you buy our paid program even today we try to make sense of what your eating habits are what your workout habits are you know usually nutrition tracking is a pain but that's why our healthify app really sucks is really you know strong at that um and yeah. we take into account your habits as well as your environment your weather your mm. geography and we give you great recommendations uh, healthier choices that you can engage in so in case of ria is it is it sort of uh, you know complementing the human um, you know coaches that you have or is it is it ultimately trying to replace them how does it work so so the thing is that you know fundamentally whether it's ria or whether it is our coaches you know we are your copilot you know mm-hmm. so um, and both the ai and the humans fundamentally are you know helping you make better choices and better decisions right so it's not yeah. that but there is obviously the ai helps the coaches in a big way at the back end mm-hmm. ai also helps you and our coaches also yeah. help you right so ai is kind yeah. of helping both our coaches and you but uh, fundamentally all of us as a platform are in uh, finally helping you um yeah. make better choices right so you can think of at a very meta level you can think of all of healthify being your mm-hmm. lifestyle co pilot uh okay. which is rendered in a large way via our ai system uh, but mm-hmm. supervised 
uh, by our human coaching system. So, you know, if you buy our Healthify Smart plan, for example, it's a pure AI subscription. Uh, but if you buy our yeah. Health Transform or Pro plan, then it is a mm. human subscription uh, okay. underscored by a lot of AI at the back end as well as front end. Yeah. So, uh, see, uh, you know, I I personally, and I'm diabetic, and I've, I've been, um, uh, you know, using smart gadgets for you know, maybe since the first version, like, you know, a smartwatch called the Pebble, which most people don't remember now. Uh, but, um, and I have a doctor who's really cutting edge uh, and understands this, is looking at my CGM, matching it with my sleep data, looking at my blood work at the same time. But, but you know, I can understand that a lot of his intelligence is very important there. It, it cannot be a four data parameters thing, right? Because he also knows that he would also ask me the question, hey, I'm seeing something off here. How many hours of sleep did you get yesterday night? You know, but the, the fact that sleep could be a factor that could push my sugar levels up is also coming because of his experience. So, so is there is there a disclaimer when it's it's purely at an AI level that maybe there are some factors that have not been considered by AI because the data simply is not there because you might not have everybody having all the gadgets that you need, right? Yeah. Look, if you if there is data absence, then yeah. whether it's an AI or a human nutritionist coach or a doctor, nobody can provide yes. you guidance if you don't yeah, have data. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do have data, AI typically is much better at mm -hmm. holding comprehensive chain of thought. You know, it's yeah. very good at holding knowledge across these various data vertices mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. providing a fairly comprehensive view. Um, yeah. And in fact, typically it is not lack of being able to pull in relevant data that makes an AI mm -hmm. not as effective as a coach. Uh, mm -hmm. It is actually the empathy and accountability that a human okay. coach provides yeah. that actually drives stronger behavior change. So mm -hmm. if you have a sleep, CGM, nutrition, fitness data, and AI is brilliant, yeah. able to provide mm -hmm. you correlative, actionable insights. Yeah. But for all of its insight providing, you as a human being may not feel so accountable to yes. AI or may so, not feel as empathetically heard yeah. by AI. Net, net it might not drive as much of behavior yeah. change when you order your dessert from Swiggy next time. Yeah. Uh, so the doctor, doctor is the human element that sort of nudges you, right? Correct. So it is the, in our case, a nutritionist or a trainer. And, you know, if you are yeah. a diabetic uh, and you buy our Healthify plus mm -hmm. pro plus program, then it will also comes with a doctor. Then the nutritionist yeah. trainer and doctor as a team hold you accountable uh, yeah. for your choices. Uh, it is that empathy and that accountability where the human shines, frankly. Mm -hmm. But the data mm -hmm. interpretation and insight creation by AI is spectacular already. Um, yet, when we are giving advice that is purely by AI, we call and declare yeah. it as such. Um, so customers yeah. can easily discern when they're engaging with RIA or if they're mm -hmm. engaging with a human being. Uh, now, a lot of the pre-processing for the human being might be done by an AI, but no message is ever sent by a human being that is not actually being sent by a human being. So we human being. Okay. Are, are clear in that distinction. Differentiation of. Mm -hmm. So, but but AI also has the kind of visibility that humans can never have, right? Like for you guys, uh, for instance, have so much data having done this for so many years. And and the kind of you know, big picture that AI can see looking at that data that, that a doctor can never have, or, or it's, it's going to be great data for the doctor to see, but it still needs an AI to sort of just compute that data and say, hey, here is a pattern that I'm seeing in certain types of people or certain types of conditions, right? So how does that work? Is Ria able to do uh, have that kind of visibility also? Definitely. I mean, you know, we Ria learns from all of the golden pathways for our millions of users, right? So it learns mm -hmm. from billion foods being tracked, hundreds of million messages, yeah. diet, lakhs of diet plans that have been sent. So, you know, we are... You know, our AI is pretty much the expert of what kind of messages and diet plans and communication will work the best. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there is, I mean, basically, it is not just using general purpose generative knowledge. It also uses the knowledge of the domain that we have operated in. So we know what kind of nudges diet plan strategies work better than others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we can therefore utilize those nudges and advice much better um, than 
uh, you know, than us not having that domain. So the fact that we yeah. have that wealth of experience, I mean, no individual nutritionist or doctor or trainer can have the kind of, you know, millions of messages and hundreds of thousands of hours of call time communication yeah. that we do have. Now, you know, there is something to be said about the intuition of the doctor or the coach mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. empathy and accountability, which mm-hmm. are powerful still, and which is why we have a AI plus human model as well, mm-hmm. uh, you know, where and we price it much more expensively. Um, you know, and, and people do, I mean, half our paying subscribers are pure AI subscribers, half our paying subscribers yeah. are AI with human oversight subscribers. Mm-hmm. So, um, how do you see this, uh, you know, advancing? What is the next step? What are you most excited about? You know, we are, um, uh, we are completely redoing Healthify. Um, mm-hmm. By September end or sometime in mid-October, probably, we should be able to reveal to the world this new Healthify, the Healthify 3.0. Um, yeah. You know, and, and, and the Healthify 3.0 is very, very strong. It brings in all of the experience with AI that we've had so far. But it, mm-hmm. it adds to it generative capabilities. Um, you know, until now, our AI was still statistical modeling to a large extent. And, um, you know, and now it takes it to transformers and large language models and integrates with the best of the LLMs out there, plus our domain capability. And a lot of R&D over the last one year has been happening for our coaches. So we've been modifying and upgrading RIA for our coaches. But we haven't okay. done that in front of consumers. So we've been, we built a coach co-pilot um, you know, like six months ago, and we've been refining that. So it's, a, it's like a dashboard just for the coaches, right? Correct. But you know, it automatically yeah. creates messages that coaches should send, creates diet plans mm-hmm. that the coaches mm-hmm. should send, provides insights and advice, correlative yeah. insights for our coaches to consider that, hey, you know, maybe the sugar levels were high because I saw that the sleep was not so good. Mm-hmm. And that mm-hmm. there had been heavy eating happening just before one goes to bed. And that's kind of keeping yeah. your heart rate elevated till late in the night mm-hmm. and things like that, right? So yeah. we've been able to pick up all of these things for our coaches to action, but now they're getting sophisticated enough that we want to reveal our AI or our RIA 2.0 in front of our consumers as well. So it'll be a reimagined mm-hmm. Healthify that will be multimodal, uh, multilingual, and we'll have generative capabilities um, and that you, know, you can engage with it, not just by typing, but by speaking or by taking photos. Um, and it will be multilingual. So it's not just going to be in English and it will be, you know, with generative AI at its core. So there'll be very strong correlative insights and interpretation provided by our AI, which we're very excited about. So we've been working hard at it. I think another couple of months, we should be able to um, reveal it to our end customers as well. So that's what we are excited about. As a company that's worked in the AI space for a few years now, have you had to sort of change course because of you know of what's happened with GPT three and GPT four? Like, is that different from what you were doing earlier, or is it something where what you were doing so far is really going to you know, plug in very well? So the latter. I mean, we we were the pioneers when it came came to health tech AI, mm-hmm. but perhaps the first AI consumer company in the world in health, right? Yeah. When we deployed Ria and we deployed Healthify Smart, etc. I, you know, it has certainly accelerating that effort. So big time, right? Otherwise, we might have been distracted or we might have started to do more in hardware mm-hmm. or offline or other things, uh, which you would expect a company at our scale and stage to do in India. But now we are doubling down in our efforts with AI and what it can do for us. It is also accelerating our ambitions to be global, um, you know, which otherwise would have taken a much longer order of magnitude of time. So mm-hmm. we are... If, Point being, it is much more of this, much more of the direction that we had already chosen to be as a firm. Okay. But it is allowing us to help bring focus and acceleration to the same mission. Also, this one and maybe last thing I want to ask you is that: is there a fear that there is too much data in our life? Right? Like, as as in, like you know, I'll give you a personal example: is that when I have a CGM and it shows my data is all good. That's when I end up having maybe, you know, too much food because I know everything is, you know, all is well. You know? and, I, and, I, and I keep checking. So is that is that creating behavioral change in other ways also when you have, you know, too much data? So how do you balance that? Do you need to have a chat with your customers once in a while? Like, you know, that, hey, like, you know, maybe, you know, think about, about it a little bit from a human perspective also at times. 
I know it's so, a slightly philosophical question. No, so. no, no. It's a great question, right? Like, is too much knowledge uh, overwhelming? Um, you know, is ignorance bliss in that sense? Yeah. It's always been the debate. And I think every time we move into a higher data format, we go through the same conundrum. Um, yeah. You know, and, and we at Healthify at least believe there is no such thing as having mm. too much data. But we at the same time very strongly believe that it is important to, um, you know, to, to not get overwhelmed by that data, um, to build information hierarchy and okay. to walk consumers through simple insights. You mm. know, so powerful, passive data, um, you know, processed by strong algorithms and humans, experts, but yeah. finally coming out to very simple, everyday active choice that you can make. Mm-hmm. You know, something as simple as, hey, I know that your next meeting is on the fifth floor. Maybe just take a walk. Mm. Instead of taking uh, okay. Meeting. Yeah. Right? So we want to change the focus from a lot of, you know, data gasm to mm. active choices that you can yeah. consider given the data and the background that you do have. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, the whole idea is that you should be able to unpack data as much as you want or get it as much obfuscated as you'd like to but your focus should not be on data your focus should be on what to do with that data with that so so it, yeah it's and focus yeah, converting it into a story right into a story like a, a conversation in a way converting it into conversation converting it into nudges converting it into yes, choices uh, i think those are the things that matter mm-hmm. you know like when you go to google maps and you switch on when you're trying to go from a to b right there is an enormous amount of data that google maps is mm-hmm. processing Time yeah. of day, other traffic, where are the cars moving, how much the speed is, how much. But finally, it gives you a very simple, you know, turn yeah. left or turn right, right? Yes. And you're likely to est- arrive at this time. Does it mean that, hey, Google Maps should have less data? No. If it has less data, it will be inaccurate in telling mm-hmm. you left or right. Yeah. It should have a lot of data. In fact, more data about the traffic, better it is. You can trust it even more. But it doesn't mean it exposes all that data to you and overwhelms you with that. It doesn't need to tell mm-hmm. you, hey, by the way, that previous car is going slow now on that turn. You don't need to know. You just need to know whether you're yeah. done left or right and what's your estimated time of arrival. And that's it. So we hope to do the same. We hope to be the Google Maps for health and fitness for you mm-hmm. with regards to your journey. But but it's also much more personalized, right? Like for every user, you would have, you know, like the precise kind of not just happening, right? Absolutely. It is personalized, you know. Like, um, and, you know, so it is very much based on, and and that is a function of us understanding your habits, Mm -hmm. your body type, your metabolic health. And again, the more data we get from you, the more we are able to personalize it to you because your habits and choices and systems better. So, Mm -hmm. you know, Ria will will never say, don't have that dessert, but it'll try and say, hey, we've been seeing a pattern here. Maybe you can Mm -hmm. reduce it, remove it, or change it in a way that's more manageable. Or have it as a meal, you know. That's what my doctor says. Have it as a meal. Don't have it along with a meal. meal. Have it as a standalone meal. <laughs> have it as a standalone or go for a walk yeah. after that, counterbalance yeah, that absolutely. glycemic yes. uh, load through various yes. efforts, right? So what can you do given, you know, so just like, you know, you take a wrong turn, Google Map doesn't give up on you. It just gives you a map. It gives you a rerouted path. It might yeah. add some time to achieve your goal, but it'll reroute your path. And we hope to continuously be able to be that reroute navigator for you so Tushar, maybe one last question um, is there something that you really want to do but you think technology is not is not there yet there's a lot that we wanted to do and technology wasn't there yet but the exciting piece is that it is there now uh, for okay. most of the vision and the use cases that we had as a global the past year has changed everything right past year has changed a lot so i'm actually yeah. super excited you know it's just like wow. we always wanted a lever with which we can change the world uh, I think mm-hmm. we finally have that lever with us and we are able to recognize yeah. its power because we've been playing in that field for the last five years. And so we understand what capabilities to do been built for. And we hope that, you know, with this lever, we can actually transform the world and achieve our mission of healthifying a billion in multiple languages, countries and geographies. So we're pretty excited about this new app, uh, Healthify 3.0 release in a couple of months time. And I hope you are there to witness that launch. So, in other words, you were already waiting at the sweet spot for the world to arrive, right? Pretty much, and, actually. 
yeah and ai has bought the world for us and technology is taking yeah. a pretty big leap in the last one year and so now the yes. possibilities are damn exciting um can our vision take the benefit of that and arrive at that superior solution um, i am very confident of doing so 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 tushar thanks for being on the show and all the best for health five me 3.0 thank you very much thanks nand gopal long time long time and long days since uh, since we perhaps last interacted thank you for yes coming. yes many years <laughs> many years yeah so you were listening to tushar from healthify me uh, we'll be back again next week with another guest till then our own devices they will be available everywhere you listen to your podcast